Hey y'all, it's Big Fat Reverend Bird here again, and I'm here today to show y'all how I clog my arteries with ooey gooey deliciousness. Yes, I'm talking about shoving Twinkies down my big fat gullet. Look at this lovely box of Twinkies. Mmm, I licked the box, it's so delicious. Anyways, let's begin. What am I waiting for? Mmm, oh, look at this, it's so pretty. Oh, smells like sex. Now this is how I normally eat a Twinkie. Mmm. Mmm. Fucking delicious. I'd rather eat one of these my dick suck. No homo. Hey, y'all. I'm the Twinkie Monster. Ooh, Twinkie. Mmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm? Mm. Looks like the fucking Twinkie can't bust a nut on my lip. No homo. <laughs> Let's play a little joke on this Twinkie. Hi, hey, I'm the little Twinkie. I need help. Somebody's trying to eat me. Oh, really? Why don't you come hide in this big, unlit cavern? Okay, but it looks like it has teeth in it. Don't worry about it, bitch. Just hide in there. Ah. No, 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 no. Can you like this? Ah. I'm fucking crazy. Twinkie number six. Look at it with them little vagina holes. This Twinkie's such a whore. I'm going to teach it a lesson. Uh, mm. uh, my uh, 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 I know it's a chicken. I don't recognize the deep feeling of fucking Twinkie. No. No. No homo. Twinkie number seven. I would treat this bitch like popcorn. Pop it in my mouth. Ah, damn it. I'm going to try it with a half. Oh, put that motherfucker up. Twinkie number eight. This one's such a whore. I'm going to unwrap it in front of all of you. Look at it. Look at it taking his wrapper off all slow and sensual. Oh, look. There goes his panties. No. Oh, shit. It's like a dick coming out the shell. Oh, wait. Oh, it's going to pop. Ah, it's going to pop out. Ah, make it tweak it. I'm going to stick my finger in that hole. Oh. Oh, tweak it. Look at it all broken apart. I've ruined this tweak it. Now I'm going to eat it. Hmm. That looks naughty. What the fuck? I can't find my last two Twinkies. Motherfucker, it says 10 individually wrapped cakes. Let me count them. Um, one, two, banana, fat guy in a shoe, couch potato. All the eight, eight of them motherfuckers. I smell them. Wait a minute. Twinkie. Other Twinkie. Man, Jenna Twinkie. We are standing for self-love and if you agree with our message that you should love your body and accept who you are then we invite you to come and draw a heart on our body. Oh my god my pens are just falling down. Injections in my ass this is all real. Plus size model, Bobby Joe Westley has a dream to have the world's largest tips. My hips were 93 inches last time I got measured. It was 93. My thighs were, I think it was 68. And my calves were like 37 inches. While she celebrates her famous curves, Bobby Joe does have worries about the effect her size has on her health. I lay down at night, I'm thinking, because I do have asthma as well. So I'm thinking, okay, is this going to be my last breath? People who are that large, you know, having large hearts, diabetes is also an, uh, a health issue. Just a lot of things, a lot of health issues go with being really large. At 500 pounds, Bobby Joe wasn't always this big. 
A combination of underactive thyroid and having five children were major factors in her weight gain. I don't really eat a lot. It may look like I do, but I don't. But to some people's eyes, it probably do because it's for my size, but I don't eat a lot. There's times where I'll eat once a day. So, I love salad, obviously. I could eat this all day. And mainly it's because of the thyroid. Like, I'm the biggest one in my family. If a doctor told me I had to lose weight or I was gonna die, I would try to lose some weight, yes, because I'm not ready to die yet. I'm trying to live a long life. I have problems being this big, and that's not as, half as big as she is, but I admire her strength, her willpower, because I couldn't be that big. But Bobby Jo is determined not to let her size bring her down. <laughs> All this. I'm not ashamed of my body, I'm very confident. So I don't mind, it's my body. If I wanna show the world me naked or in bra and panties, that's what I choose to do. I'm famous for my hips and my butt, yeah. <laughs> it's the first thing people notice. Her humongous hips have started to pay off. In 2014, modeling contracts started to roll in. Um, my first shoot, I was nervous, but after the first time of putting all this butt into a pair of thongs, it just came natural. So I liked it. It made me feel good. The mum of five now commands $500 per shoot. My stage name is Ultimate Pair. Stage name was chosen, I guess, because of like my hips and I'm the, I have the ultimate hips. And Bobby's fan base is growing. My fans come from everywhere, Australia, India, in the United States. A little bit everywhere. She gets lots of attention from men. She gets lots and lots of attention. I'm with her a lot, so I know she gets lots of attention. A lot of men contact me for love proposals. Oh, wow. Probably like between 40 and 50 contact me. Like, I want to marry you. Can we have a baby together? Despite her supersized measurements, Bobby Jo still has a little way to go to steal the world record currently held by Mikel Rufinelli. Am I proud of my big button hips? Um, yes, I am. I'm not ashamed. I am who I am. Because my hips and my butt is what makes me. Let's have a chat about fat tax fashion. If you have no idea what that is, it's when retailers decide to charge more money for plus sizes than they do the standard range. And personally, I don't think that's fair. For example, say I'm buying a dress. Up to a size 16, it's 20 pounds. But when you go to a size 18, they add on another fiver. How is that fair? You don't see retailers charging more for their tall collections or less for their petite collections. So why are they picking on plus size women? Sometimes the argument is that it's more fabric. Again, why are they charging more in that case for their tall collections? We all deserve access to nice, affordable clothing. But retailers are making it so difficult for plus size women like myself to find these things. It shouldn't be this difficult. I want to buy the same product as you for the same price, no matter what my size. And that stands for anyone, whether you're size six or 32. 
you should be paying the same price for the same garment. And in a way, I think it's just another way for retailers to make more money out of us. I think in general, plus size clothing is more expensive anyway. I'm more than happy to call out a brand if I see them charging plus size women like me more for what appears to be the exact same garment. It's not fair and I'm not standing for it. The fat tax really frustrates me. 